Hello, what is up everybody? RL57 here, back with yet another diecast car video and in today's video, we have a new casting which is the new Hot Wheels Mad Mike Drift Attack which is uh, basically a new casting, also new for 2024 basically. Hot Wheels Exotics uh, number 5 out of 10, you can see Mad Mike's signature right there and of course his logo MM, Mad Mike. And uh, number 209 out of 250, oh this is not 2024, sorry, this is 2023. <laughs> and let's go ahead and open this up. Wrong year, as always, never mind. One. So here is the Mad Mike's Drift Attack. Now, this was early on uh, teased, early on in the year 2023. We've seen the tease of this car. Many people were thinking, what car was this? What car is this? This is a car that I believe Mad Mike drove in like, I don't know, a drift event, I guess. I'm not entirely sure because I don't really like follow Mad Mike's activities basically. And when it comes to like um, uh, car activities, whatever, like drifting events, not really my thing personally. And um, yeah, basically, I think he used this car to like compete against uh, top-notch drifters. To me personally, I didn't know this car really existed. But then again, it reminds me much of a front. Like the front part of the car reminds me much of a Ford Mus. I mean, Ford GT, which they used back in Le Mans with the older Ford GT, which is. Um, yeah, pretty much similar to the front part of the car. That's the only thing that I'm thinking of. The back, I don't know what car does it use. It still looks like a race car rather than a drift car. But it says it's a drift attack, so whatever. I think they used it more for drifting, but still pretty common, I would say, for people to say that this might look like a race car instead of a drift car. Yeah, that's basically my personal thought of the car. So yeah, let's take a look and see what's uh, what's all about the car basically. So here it is, the Mad Mike's Drift Attack. And let's start from the side here. Let's uh, focus it a, a bit. So first of all, we have bigger rims at the back, with uh, bigger wheels, sorry. You have like a grey trim, I mean a grey touch of the rims at the back. Um, let's start from the livery, basically we have a blue and grey livery all over the side, including the door here, which is um, pretty standard I'd say. Uh, I don't know what, what symbols are those. Uh, Mad Mike logo I believe right there, as you can tell. Uh, Toyo tires right there, Rodiform. Uh, Hot Wheels logo at the side door right there. Um, the blue trim right here is basically a plastic with the base. And uh, even this like, black part, is it metal? No, it's plastic. This uh, black part is also plastic, made by, um, connected with the like spoiler at the back right here, which is, um, yeah, basically that's it. And, um, yeah, that's basically it for the side. Moving on to the front. Now, here we have the headlights right here, which is um, um, not too bad. I mean, they kind of detailed it, but still, it's very good. But you can kind of see like the whole headlight detail right there in black and like a touch of gray, I think. Which is not bad. I mean, at least you have something. And um, yeah, you have the Hot Wheels logo right there. You have some dotted um, stripes as well, and also you have the blue stripe running towards the side. Basically, the whole part right here is in grey, the whole hood part. Mad Mike logo right there, and Rodiform, and uh, more Rodiform of course. Number 123, that's actually a nice number, 123, racing number. I mean, I don't know, racing number or drifting number, whatever it is. Oh, you have you even have some canards which they didn't really color it, but still it's fine. Uh, front splitter right here in blue, which is uh, same color as the base, of course. Um, what is that? Uh, that's the uh, black interior right there. I think it's black. Yeah, 
black interior, uh, normal windshield tint, which is not bad. Nothing under roof, nothing under roof because they already filled up the front, and also nothing near the back right here, which is fine. So the other side is basically the same thing. Oh, I forgot to mention about the front wheels. They have a slightly smaller one, uh, smaller size than the back wheels, and they are disc rims, which is uh, colored in gray. Just if you're wondering, there it is. And uh, let's move on to the back. So we have this massive, massive ducktail spoiler right here in black and it's plastic. If you are wondering, there it is. Uh, I don't think so. Of course, you have no rear lights. I don't know if you even can see anything inside. But yeah, it's slightly, uh, slightly towards the inside, but still. I don't think there's any like um, uh, rear lights or anything, but that's fine. Uh, you have this massive like. Um, I forgot what's this called again. Never mind. Uh, you have this massive part right here in blue at the back, which is uh, connected to the base, of course. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the wheels are exposed at the back right here. The rear wheels are exposed, as you can tell. So yeah, let's move on to the base. So blue at base, blue base. There is some texture actually, not not so rough texture, but still it's fine. Uh, plastic, and of course it says Mad Mike Drift Attack, 2022 Mattel made in Malaysia, and Hot Wheels. Overall, to me personally, if you show me this car once, I would say that this is a Ford GT, but technically, it definitely isn't because it's actually a Mad Mike's Drift car. I don't even know what's the actual branding of the car. Like, is it supposed to be a company car or is it like under a certain brand? Maybe like Ford, Mercedes, uh, Mazda, who knows? You might never know. It actually reminds me of a Mazda 787B slightly, a Mercedes Sauber C9. I don't know what's the actual uh, actual originality of the car. Is it like supposed to be a Ford, a copy of a Ford? Maybe they adjusted it quite much. I don't know. What is it meant to resemble? Like, I get the point that they're trying to make a custom style car for drifting, but it seems really weird. But it's fine. But yeah, overall, uh, quite a weird and actually great car. I do really like the design of the car. It looks really sick. It reminds me of like a modern style uh, Ford GT. Like if they were to like adjust it, yeah, it would be something like this. But yeah, overall, I do like the casting. Love the livery and all. Yeah, they even like designed the headlights, which is nice. Basically, that's all I want to say for this car. Overall, I hope that they're making, they'll be making more uh, things like this. Maybe in the future, they will like um, design more, like use more designs on this car. Maybe try out some different colors on it. Overall, it's pretty sick, very nice. Once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See my other videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye bye.